We should spend some time before we ever sit down with the other side. So the important step that's left out is up here. And by the way, it's a place where staff can be very helpful. Staff can be very helpful in the preparation for the discussions to have this exchange. Another place where staff can really be helpful is here. The information exchange. They can raise the questions that need to be answered. They can ask for the legitimacy of the figures that are on the table. They don't get to make offers. I don't think staff, we expect staff to offer or make counteroffers, although they might. I don't know. My, my own experience is I did this part of it myself. But let me tell you a place where the staff was hugely important to me, and that was here and here. Here's what I want us to take away from. First, there are multiple kinds of interests, and we want to explore all three, and we want to look under all three rocks. Secondly, we want to understand that there is a zone of agreement, if there is a deal or not, and that we are exploring for the existence of a zone of a deal, a zone of agreement, and the zone of agreement might alter by time. And third, there is a pattern to this, and the overlooked part of the pattern is time spent in preparation, and time spent in information exchange. Our position at the table depends on the alternatives we have away from the table. The more alternatives we have, the more attractive those alternatives are, the better the outcome at the table I'm going to need instead of doing that. Now, our alternatives away from the table affect our behavior at the table, and the better those alternatives are, the better the deal's going to have to be for me before I'll say yes. I find it's really hard to get a good idea under pressure. You know where our brain goes under pressure with short timelines? Clichés. Places where we've been before. The obvious. The one that's jumped out at us. The idea of something new, something different, something rare, something that you have to hunt for, usually contemplates time. And by the way, time to reflect, not just come up with this before tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I'm the Urban Development Department Director for the City of Lincoln. We had a fabulous local business, an insurance company, say, look, you spent $200 million to create a channel for a, a, a creek in your town and a, a linear park in a rundown area of town. You did that to create land out of the floodplain. And we will build a $55 million corporate headquarters right next to the park you've created. And the city will see that your investment made sense. And that you have engendered a whole round of creative, uh, a whole round of investment for the city. Would you like that? The city said, God, yes, we'd love it. They said, fine. Because we had to spend a lot of money to get this land. And there's some rights of way and some streets that you have to vac vacate us. Give us that land for free. And we said, we don't give away land for free. They said, look, we're going to spend $55 million to make you look great and save your park and that $200 million investment. All you got to do is give us a million dollars of land for free. And the reason is we spent a lot of money getting this land in play. Here's the deal, ultimately. They had a garage over here. The garage was used at 7 in the morning to 6 at night, five days a week. We had a park that was in the middle of a neighborhood. We wanted ethnic food festivals. We wanted to have music. But to do that, we would have invited the community down and simply park all over the neighborhood and make that, that situation uh, a, a nightmare for the neighborhood. What we got the party to agree was that they would open this garage on the weekends and charge to use it charge the regular garage fee that you'd use in the city. So it was an income stream to the insurance company, but it was 500 parking stalls next to a park for us that we didn't have to build and we could take away from the neighborhood. These are empty stalls on the weekend. Empty stalls on the weekend are very different. They don't have much value to the insurance company. They have huge value to the citizens who want to use the park. That's the dynamic. And when you don't contemplate when you don't think, when you don't reflect and have a chance to think about it, you don't say to yourself, there's a form of value in this deal that we're not thinking about. We're thinking it's all about money. Wait a second. There are empty garage stalls on the weekend that they don't need and that we want. And for that, we would trade land. 
We got 15 years of free parking, not free parking, 15 years of available parking in exchange for our rights of way and some vacated alleys. And we both did well. A position is a preferred solution. Every bill in the legislature is a preferred solution. Every bill in the legislature will probably allocate the how much function. Underneath that bill is a reason it was brought, a problem that deserved to be solved, the underlying motions of the parties, and therein lies the answer to the question why.